Kim Jong-un, through an interpreter, greeted President Trump with apparent surprise. I've never expected to meet you at this place. And then, seconds later, President Trump took a step into history. But will the first visit of a sitting U.S. president to North Korea be a step to anything else? We'll see what can happen. Now we'll just see if we can do something. But again, uh, we want to get it right. We don't want to, we're not looking for speed. We're looking to get it right. A meeting that normally would have taken months of preparation was seemingly spurred by an impromptu Twitter invite from President Trump. The planning so haphazard, the new White House press secretary pushed North Korean guards aside for U.S. photographers to get through. It's just an honor to be with you. The president seemed eager to see Kim despite two previous summits and no plan for North Korea to scrap its nuclear program. This president has uh, raised the profile of a dictator like Kim Jong-un uh, and now three times uh, visited with him unsuccessfully. We haven't gotten anything out of it. And since the last meeting in February, analysts say North Korea has continued work on its nuclear arsenal. Still, the U.S. is hopeful for a turnaround. And the president, uh, by getting together with Chairman Kim today, broke through and was able to get us the opportunity to get back to the negotiating table. But a deal, if the U.S. demand remains complete denuclearization, may prove impossible. I do believe that uh, they want to keep their uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, it's all about regime survival. Quite honestly, I'm not sure what Trump's aim is. I'm not sure if he knows. For now, today was about show. Substance may come later, perhaps in another meeting. President Trump invited Kim Jong-un to the White House. Ellen Morrow, CBC News. Washington. Now, as Ellen mentioned, Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un's high-profile handshake may be unusual and, yes, historic, but away from TV cameras, North Korea's nuclear program continues. Officials and experts say North Korea is still enriching nuclear fuel. According to one report, over the course of 2018, even as Trump's diplomacy with Kim continued, Pyongyang produced enough material for up to seven additional warheads. But this you is... acknowledge they haven't even agreed to denuclearize. No, no, they have not. And agreed. there's no exactly. expiration date on this offer to continue to negotiate. And North Korea's commitment to halt missile testing? Well, it launched short-range missiles into the sea last month. Trump officials have insisted they want full denuclearization. There's been no wavering on that, right? No wavering. But some see Trump's willingness today to meet Kim where he is as evidence he might accept a less ambitious deal.